guys, welcome back, Material Energy Cubed with me, Sid, and uh, it's been a while since I last recorded on here, but let's jump over to my view. I've done quite a bit of refurbishing um, off camera, so I've kind of extended this platform so it now comes all the way down here. Um, this goes all the way around this way. Got some, oh, you need wrenching. That's better. Uh, glowstone illuminators all over the place. I put in a little farm, which uh, is not the most brilliant farm in the world. But for some reason, I'm not getting a huge amount of seed drops. So I th I'm guessing that the um, they've been nerfed in the configs a little bit because I'm sometimes I'm just getting the one. More often than not, I'm just getting the one. Got all my melons in now. I dug out this platform here and look what I found. Two more golden lassoes and another trophy. So we'll have you out. And while I was going around, I also have got to find it. I, oh, there we go. Found this little fella as well. <laughs> uh, so I thought I'd leave those until I was recording just so we could uh, experience the thrill of finding things together uh, so I'll stick you in there I'm not making any bread as yet uh, I do want these however uh, and over here I've sorted out my stuff so this is my valuables chest blocks and odds and sods go in here the metals I've all processed up and this is all machine tech stuff um, there's nothing much else, I don't think, over here at the moment. Um, now, one thing I do need to do is these things contain mini me's. Sorry. <laughs> and I don't want mini me's because they're a pain in the backside. Who's this one? Rajescent. Ooh, tough guy. Uh, who else we're going to kill? Jam, uh, Jackin Fett. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Feels kind of cruel. And finally, Pixel Picks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let me get these. Uh, let me just go back to this. I've got this this stupid sword here with plus eight, and it's acid coated and all sorts of weird stuff. I have got no idea what the hell that's going on about. But what we have got, of course, is a uh, victory monument, open, bang, and manual detect. So what do we need now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Still a lot. Um, okay, let's just go and pop those in the victory monument, and then we can get on. Oh, I, I also constructed my armor. Uh, we can go and get on and finish off in... Finding sea biscuit, I suppose, is the one. Uh, zombie pigman bat. What have I got? A slime and a ghast. Da da. Silverfish slime. Hello, slimy. And a ghast, which I won't right click. Oh, you're not going to do anything. He's going to fireball me, so I just know that's going to happen. Anyway, um, yeah. So I, I, I am enjoying this this map a lot. Um, but what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go and find sea biscuit. Now I'm going to keep those on me because I know there are animals down there. And we're going to grab a few blocks. Uh, we'll just use some dirt. And I also want ladders wherever I put those. There. It's quite, I'm getting used to this um, looking at the old pop-ups thing as well. Let's get back onto daytime. Doesn't matter, but we can do anyway. I've also rejigged my entryway here. So this is now mob safe. And I've put my little turrets in, in little, little um, sniper boxes there. 
I had a go at grabbing some of this glowstone, but you can't craft glowstone blocks in this. So that was a definite out. No, no. Uh, what else? Anything else I've been doing while well, I've been down here? No, I've moved everything upstairs and and tidied and, and yada yada. So, oh, it was down there, wasn't it? You can tell it's been a week since I was last on here. So, there's spiders around somewhere. Oh, I think they're in that that thing. So we've got so oh, victory monument wool. We'll have it. We'll also fill her up and make sure that this is a, a good place for a hat. Knew it. Actually, I should probably switch to that because I'm on a unsafe platform here at the moment and the speed could be a very bad idea. Oh, that must be from a creeper, dirt creeper blast. Right. Let's, let's let this speed wear off a little bit. And hopefully we will... There's a lot of Dirt Creeper blast holes actually here. <laughs> hopefully, in a moment, once this is worn off... Oh, look at that. That is not good. And I haven't got a bow. God damn it. Um... Hmm, I wonder if I've got the makings of a bow upstairs. Let me, in fact, let me grab a few of these. Because I'm not entirely sure whether you can pulverize wool. You used to be able to in some mod packs, so let's go and have a look. Bonk, bonk, because I don't want to get shut off when I'm pillaring across. Oh, there was um, I, don't know I showed you that victory monument wall there. Maybe I did. As I say, it's been a week since I recorded, so uh, not really. Let's go. Right, first things first. Manual detect. There we go. Right, let's see if we can pulverize victory monument wall for string. Pulverizer go. We can, excellent. Right, I'll go and pop that away. I'm going to make myself a bow and I will be right back with you. Okay, so the I've come down here, I've, I've basically I've built myself a little tunnel <laughs> just to stop things bugging me when I'm coming up here. Uh, and I'm starting to bridge out over, but this is not a friendly place at all. Now there is a slight problem. I started building my um, bow, and I built the bow, because the bow was very easy, um, and of course then I realised I've got no feathers, I've got no flint, and I have a grand total of two arrows, so complete waste of time, and I couldn't find a easy easy way around that. Come on, come on all of you guys, jump off. Yay, jump off. Come on. Oh, oh it's still there. Oh, there's a lot of badness down there. Hup. Oh, and that thing's got a bow. I didn't think it had, but... Uh, no. Get out of the way, Mr. Missed him with my wolf. one of my one arrows. This is not good. Um, now, what is a means to deal with this? Uh, huh. The answer has got to be, I don't know right now. Um, I mean, I could use the old jump down like an idiot and attack everything in sight technique. 
I could use lava, but that would obviously kill all the animals as well. Um, hmm. I'm a little bit stumped as how to deal with this. Plus, of course, there is a slight drawback that at this moment in time I don't have any lava. Uh, okay, let's think. I'm going to have a quick think, and I'll, I'm going to go and examine my uh, the contents of my uh, my chest actually, and see if I've got anything which will give me a clever way of dealing with this. And I will be right back with you. Okay, I think I found a little secret that I wasn't aware of. Uh, I thought, oh, I've got lava, so I went. And went up the top and started breaking out and instead of these being lava source blocks out these are open tanks full of lava so i think i can lava these gits to death uh, there's a chance i'll cook sea biscuit i i believe the quest is only a locational quest uh, left alone, sea biscuit. Yeah, we've just got to get to the location. So, and I can't imagine that I'm actually ever going to want a horse in this somehow. So, I will take the chance of cooking sea biscuit. And, and if the piggies get cooked, then, you know, so be it. If their drops, pardon me, if their drops survive. That will be even better because we'll have some lovely cooked pork chops. Um, but I think that's probably the simplest way of dealing with a large number of hostiles down there. Especially when one of them is an Enderman and the other one is a Skeleton. And I have now one arrow because I missed. Because I'm crap shot. So let's go and see how these guys like lover Hup, there you go try that for size oh, I might get some cooked beef as well I'll just let that go down for a bit and has that even worked? I can't, oh, it's got in the, yeah, it's definitely got into the field, and that's reduced the number of, I think that's reduced the number of hostiles, oh, the cow's on fire, oh, so that just leaves a zombie and a creeper to deal with, which is a, a much better proposition, it has to be said. think we can handle that just as soon as oh and sea biscuit has survived ah oh. come on lava let's just get you off my hot bar and get ready to jump ready creeper oh there's one there death from above oh oop. <laughs> Well, that's one way of dealing with a a creeper and a spider. Right, let's light this. What's the matter with you? Strange. Strange behaviour for a, a zombie, it has to be said. Okay, so from here now, I should be able to pillar up there, and then we should be able to pillar up and across, I think. I've got some pork chops for my uh, trouble. About here. One more. That looks to be about right, and... That'll do. 
Okay, and bonk, and bonk, bonk. Bonk, make this all nice and safe, especially seeing as there's still an absolute buttload of mobs down there. Hup. Now, the only other thing in here to do, well, obviously this we've got here, we need to see what we get and yada yada for all of this. Um, and then the obvious other, hang on. Let me just really make sure this is absolutely safe. Oh, God. You stupid pig. Before you have an accident, Mr. Piggy, I'm getting my golden lasso. Uh, ladders. Da, 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 da. And that's it. We can afford to play safe with the dirt. So we should have sea biscuit in in the. I'm just looking at that pig, thinking, God, you how stupid do you want to get? Right, uh, we'll have the last pig as well while we're here, and for that matter, we will have sea biscuit. As I say, I can't imagine I will need a horsey. Let's see any. Any more seeds to be had while I'm down here? Da, da. Yeah, there we go, grab that. So there's this thing over here to go and have a look at, and that looks like it could be interesting. Um, right, what's next? Let's have a look, see what the book says. Oh, consume, oh, it wants 10 apples. It wants 10 bloody apples. All right, that's not a problem. Apples we can do. Hup. So let's go starters and see if that see what we can see in this little uh, thing. So if I go down about here. What do you reckon that is? Uh, two, three, maybe four, five. Let's have a look. Bonk. Uh, ladders. It doesn't sound pleasant. No, it's not, that's why. Ow! Ow! Stop it! <laughs> Damn it! That wasn't very nice of them. Right, get dead. Hang on. Answer. The answer's in my inventory, isn't it? Right. Uh, put a ladder in, eat some food, and get the answer. <laughs> I love that sound. Okay, are we clear? Die spawner. Oh, need that enough. Ooh, what we got in here then? Ooh, farm blocks, chiseled sandstone, farm blocks, chiseled crackstone bricks, and farm blocks, bricks, stack of each. Nice. That was well worth coming to have a look for. And we'll have that as well. Right, well, I think we are pretty much finished with the inclusion chamber. 
Um, so I think we can unload this. I don't think there's any anything else left to do in here. So we'll unload this. We'll I'll do some uh, tree growing and chopping down, but I'll do that in the uh, observation lounge deck thing. Um, now there's a nice thing in this pack. Let me just run. In fact, let me come back to you once I'm ready and got sorted out here. Okay, so earlier in the um, quest tree, we had to make this stuff a uh, fertilizer. And this stuff is basically like super bone meal. Um, it generally grows them on one, one use, one click. So yeah, we can, now that is made. Let me just go over here and grab uh, the relevant stuff. It is uh, one, two, three, four. If I make eight of each, bear with me a sec. Sorry about that. My darling wife at the door didn't realize there was a recording. Uh, yeah, so it's just what was it potash, phosphorus, and magnesium? Bang, and you have a stack of uh, fertilizer. The other thing I could probably use. Well, not probably. The other thing I could definitely use is uh, an axe. Mm -hmm. So, have that, have that. And then we'll get on with the difficult and dangerous quest of making... Oh, God, what the hell's going on with this? <laughs> of making apples, because, you know... They can be dangerous when they're cornered, can your average apple? Um, I do like the new look of some of these things with um, the metallurgy brings. It's, I only had seven saplings, so I just did the first seven for now, but we can let those, chop those down. Plus side of this, I'll get a whole load of wood at the same time. And the world will be... Hopefully, a good and happy place with more than seven saplings and ten apples after these first seven trees, please. No, I don't think we're going to get ten apples. So I am going to be sat here now doing a little bit of tree chopping down for a short while. And once we've got those ten apples, we should hopefully be good. So I'll see you in a little while. Okay, we have got the ten apples, but I've, while I've been waiting for the leaves to despawn, I've been kind of walking around doing this, uh, and silverfish, and a basic reward bag. Also, because I'm kind of playing this suspicious game, I can't quite reach it, but there is definitely... A pig there <laughs> and I've not gone everywhere this you know you can only kind of be suspicious so much but I was just this one I discovered entirely by accident there's a mini me with meaty lock in now I presume these are all players who the uh, author mod pack author knows but um, yeah so let's get the apple quest turned in uh, manual submit, we'll claim that reward. So that is all good through to here until this one, Egyptian Temple. And then we've also got the Biosphere quest. So the Biosphere wants some of those. I think we'll probably do those next time. Let's have a look what we got in our reward bags. Some coal. And... A master fishing rod, silk touch fishing rod. Okay. Well, I suppose it takes all sorts. You can go into there. Uh, you definitely go in there. Uh, and we'll put that in there for now. And the rest can go over here. So, I want to go and turn in... Uh, these um, trophies. Because that's uh, one 
more thing less to do. So we should have pig and silverfish now. Uh, wherever the silver, oh, there it is. Uh, and there's one other thing I wanted to do this episode before we finish, and uh, certainly before we head off into things. And you'll notice, you remember last episode, in fact, let's go and just put these in first. Because otherwise I'll get distracted, and you know how easily I am distracted. So, bat, zombie, witch, sheep, silverfish, silverfish. Aww. How cute. I could have sworn those spiders were just watching, me, looking at me then. Uh, pig. Pig. Thank you. <laughs> Pork chop. I don't know what the silverfish does, actually. Let's have a look. It makes a noise. Okay, so you recall uh, last episode, we noticed there was a structure off of this way. Uh, it was when I dug through the wall by accident. So I came down and I... Had a little dig, and we've got this thing out here, which is all very uh, interesting and mysterious. Let me uh, hit F7 on so we can see what the lighting's. Why was it already on? It might have already been on. Who knows? So, yeah, let's um, let's go and have a look at this before we finish. I probably should have waited. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go sleep quick and I will be back in a moment. Right, we're back and uh, yeah, first things first, straight off the bat, what's that? That is a creeper trophy and some cloud in a bottle, uh, which we will not play with right now. Uh, let me just get some planks because this is certainly not the safest area in the world. In fact, let me in fact, convert the whole lot over. Dunk, give ourselves a little bit more walkway. And what have we got over here? We've got Ender Core and Ender Infused Obsidian. We've got a Dragon Egg, which we'll not touch because we all know what happens with those when when you touch them. Uh, what have we got here? Industrial Apiary, Emulations, a whole bunch of factory blocks. We've got some bees. We have got a whole bunch of spruce, which I'm going to be very suspicious about. You are Willow, not to be confused with the character from the, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it's the tree, of course. Uh, I'm just, you have to excuse me, I'm very suspicious of this, this map now. Well, what have we got? Under construction, hmm. Golden eggs, no, 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 never in a million years. Plumwood. Hmm. Plums. Yummy. Uh, anything else? We got a little bit of conduit, which is nice. Uh, some more. So this looks like it could be a tree farming area. Oh. Area. I suppose I better pick those up before they despawn. Vines. Yeah, I don't think they're anything particularly rare in this pack. If you look up there, you can see there's a safe on the outside. You can see it. So that's probably worth investigating as well. Uh, let me just submit this creeper anyway. Where are you, creeper? Oh, it's already in. Good. And we can go and put you back on the uh, on the shelf. And I'll probably have to do use this outside area if we can expand it a little bit and chop it up. Maybe put our farms outside now. Now we've got that facility. And obviously we've got 
some kind of indication that Gendistry is going to be uh, necessary down the line, which should be fun. Um, <laughs> it was, well, it was, to be fair, it is a hell of a lot more fun than uh, than doing it the old-fashioned way, Enderman, Creeper, Bonk. That trophy, I still want to know how to activate this stuff. Unable to communicate. We must have to put a controller in somewhere. I wonder whether we've got one somewhere. Just go and have a look. Or whether we get one later. What have we got in here? Energy cells and cable. Oh, ender infused obsidian. There's a lot of that about, actually. So if I ever want to make an ender quarry, that's not a biggie. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been an awfully long episode for what was essentially trying to find a bloody horse. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.